now we discuss the synchronous counter counting process so uh, already i am told that j input j is equal to k is equal to 1 flip flop goes to toggle state toggle state means so we get complemented previous output 0 becomes to 1 1 becomes to 0 so if j is equal to k is equal to 0 flip flop does not change the state it carries the previous state output values when clock pulse 0 is applied clock is 0 clock 0 clock is applied so initial outputs of all flip flops q0 is 0 and q1 is 0 and q2 is 0 and q3 is 0 q0 is 0 and q1 is 0 and q2 is 0 and q3 is 0 so this 0 0 0 0 is equal to count 0 so and now we are going to apply next negative edge triggering clock pulse clock 1 is applied so when we are going to apply clock 1 so our first flip flop input j k is always connected to vcc that that's why it is equal to 1 j is equal to 1 k is equal to 1 that's why so first flip flop uh, goes to toggle state in toggle state uh, we get previous complemented output value previous previous uh, complemented output value so previous output is 0 that's why complemented output of is 1 next state uh, output is 1 so um, for first flip flop output act previous output act as the input of second flip flop so um, previous output of first flip flop is 0 so that's why j is 0 and k is 0 so j is 0 k is 0 uh, flip flop 2 there is no change state there is no change the state so it carries the previous output value so previous output value of q1 is 0 that's why next state output value also 0 so q1 again 0 and now we see the output of end gate end gate 1 output is equal to uh, product of q1 and q0 of the previous uh, output of outputs previous outputs of the flip flops so previous outputs of the flip flop q naught is 0 and q1 is 0 0 into 0 so we get end gate 1 is 0 end gate 1 is 0 so automatically j is 0 and k is 0 so that's why uh, there is no change the output state it also carries the previous state value previous state value of q2 is 0 so that's why next state value q2 getting also 0 so q2 again 0 and now we see the <coughs> and get 2 output value <coughs> and get 2 output value is equal to product of q2 q1 q0 these are the previous output values so previous output values q2 is 0 q1 is 0 q0 is 0 so 0 into 0 into 0 and get 2 is 0 so j is 0 k is 0 so uh, this flip flop also does not change the output value it, it carries the previous output value so previous output value of q3 is 0 that's why next state output value also 0 so q3 again 0 and next we are going to apply second negative edge triggering pulse so at second negative edge triggering pulse so first cv this value 0 0 0 1 is equal to count 1 so now we are going to apply uh, second clock pulse second clock pulse so first flip flop inputs j k is equal to 1 so j k is equal to 1 so this flip flop in toggle state this flip flop in toggle state so a toggle state so we get the complemented previous output value so previous output value is 1 so complemented previous output value is uh, 0 next state output value q naught is 0 then previous output of the first flip flop act as a input of second flip flop so 
प्रीवियस आउटपुट ऑफ फर्स्ट फ्लिप फ्लॉप इज वन सो दट्स वाई सेकेंड फ्लिप फ्लॉप इनपुट सीज प्रीवियस आउटपुट ऑफ फर्स्ट फ्लिप फ्लॉप इज वन सेकेंड फ्लिप फ्लॉप इनपुट सीज जे इज इक्वल टू वन के इज इक्वल टू वन सो जे इज इक्वल टू वन के इज इक्वल टू वन दिस वन इज टॉगुल स्टेट दिस फ्लिप फ्लॉप इज टॉगुल स्टेट so at toggle state we get complemented previous output so previous output is zero complemented previous output is one next state output is equal to one so q1 is one then we see the and gate one output so and gate one output is equal to product of q1 and q0 of the previous output so product of q1 and q0 of previous output is q1 is 0 q0 is 1 so 0 into 1 0 and gate one is 0 so and gate one is 0 j is equal to 0 k is equal to 0 so uh, this flip flop does not change the output value it carries the previous state value so previous state value is 0 so next state value also 0 so q2 again 0 then uh, we see the and gate two output value and gate two output is equal to product of q2 q1 q0 of the previous outputs so previous outputs of q2 is जीरो क्यू वन इज जीरो क्यू नाट इज वन जीरो इंटू जीरो इंटू वन जीरो एंड गेट टू आलो जीरो सो जे इज इक्वल टू जीरो के इज इक्वल टू जीरो ऑटोमेटिकली इट आलो डज नॉट चेंज दि आउटपुट वैल्यू सो इट कैरीज दि प्रीवियस स्टेट वैल्यू सो प्रीवियस स्टेट वैल्यू इज जीरो सो नेक्स्ट स्टेट वैल्यू आलो जीरो सो Q3 also zero. So this zero zero one is equal to count two. Now we are going to apply third clock pass. So um, so j is equal to k is equal to one. This one is first flip flop is toggle state. So at toggle state we get complemented previous output. Previous output of first flip flop is zero. So complemented uh, output is one. So Uh, Q not is equal to one. So uh, first flip flop previous output act as the input of the second flip flop. So first flip flop previous output is zero. So that's why J is equal to zero, K is equal to zero. So J zero, K zero. It does not change the state. This does not change the output value. It carries the previous output value so previous output value of q1 is 1 that's why so next state output value also 1 so q1 uh, again 1 and next um, uh, see the and gate 1 output and gate 1 output is equal to q1 into q0 of previous outputs so previous output of q1 and q0 is q1 is 1 q0 is 0 0 into 1 is 0 uh, so and gate 1 is 0 j is 0 and k is 0 j is 0 and k is 0 j 0 k 0 so it does not change the state so so it carries the previous output value previous output value is 0 so next state output value also 0 so q2 again 0 and uh, then see the output of and gate 2 and gate 2 is equal to product of q2 q1 and q0 of the previous output values so see the previous output q2 is uh, uh, 0 q1 is 1 q0 is 0 0 into 1 into 0 so 0 and gate to two output is 0 so that's why j is 0 k is 0 so that's why it does not change the output state so it carries the previous state value so previous state value is 0 that's why next state value also 0 so q3 also 0 and So zero zero one one is equal into count three. So again, we are going to apply fourth negative edge triggering clock pulse. So initial first flip flop J K is equal to one. So that's why uh, this is in toggle state. Toggle state we get complemented previous output value. So previous output value is first flip flop previous output value one. That's why complemented output value is zero. So 
q not is zero so uh, first flip flop previous output act as the input of the second flip flop so that's why first flip flop previous output is one so that's why j is equal to one k is equal to one so j is equal to one k is equal to one second flip flop uh, goes to toggle state at toggle state we get complemented previous output previous output of uh, the second flip flop is 1 that's why complemented output is 0 so q1 is 0 so now we check the uh, and gate 1 output so and gate 1 is equal to q1 into q0 of uh, previous output value so previous output value q1 is 1 q0 is 1 so uh, 1 into 1 so and gate output we get one and get one output we get one that's why so j is equal to one k is equal to one so j is equal to one k is equal to one so this goes to the toggle state at this toggle state so we get complemented previous output so previous output of this flip flop is zero so complemented previous output is one so so we get one qt is one here and now we check the and gate two output and gate two output uh, is equal to q2 into q1 into q0 of the previous output so q previous output q2 is 0 q1 is 1 q0 is 0 so 0 into 1 into 1 so and gate 2 output is 0 so that's why j is equal to 0 k is equal to 0 so this flip flop does not change the state so it carries the previous output value previous output value of this flip flop is 0 so next state output value also 0 so uh, q3 is equal to 0 so this is equal to count 4 so this process is repeated up to 15 up to 15 so uh, this is the timing diagram for counters so these are the class clock 0 clock 1 clock 2 up to clock 15 at clock 0 so we getting output q not is 0 q1 is 0 q2 is 0 q3 is 0 so at clock 0 draw the 0 so whenever getting the negative edge triggering plus so automatically flip-flop change a state so uh, at starting uh, starting of negative edge triggering pulse so flip flop output changes so first negative edge triggering pulse our output is q0 is 1 q1 is 0 q2 is 0 q3 is 0 so q0 is 1 q1 is 0 q2 is 0 q3 is 0 so at uh, uh, second negative edge triggering pulse like this so q0 is 0 1 0 1 second edge triggering pulse 0 draw like this 0 1 0 and 0 and third edge triggering pulse again change the state so q0 is 1 q2 sorry q0 is 1 q1 is 1 q2 0 q3 0 third third pulse q0 is 1 and q1 is 1 q2 is 0 q3 is 0 and like this draw the up to 15 so after completion of 15 counts again reset the flip flop so again count start from 0 to 15 so that is the timing diagram of synchronous binary counters so first uh, fill the table up to 15 counts then draw the this timing diagram so clock 0 is like this clock 1 outputs is like this clock 2 outputs is like this at clock 3 outputs is like this at clock 4 outputs is like this okay now this is the timing diagram for synchronous binary counter thank you